My name is Doug Papa. I'm a former law enforcement officer, criminal investigator. I worked in the casino business for 20 years. I write part-time for the Baltimore Post Examiner. I received some information from a former police official from Metro who told me that initially the homicide investigators were investigating the shooting because homicide, 58 people were dead and Paddock allegedly committed suicide. That would be something that homicide would investigate. It was taken away from the Homicide Bureau and given to a team called the Force Investigating Team. Well, the woman in charge of FIT is Captain Kelly McMahill, who is the wife of the second in command at the LVMPD under Sheriff Kevin McMahill. And that man has a very shady past. Early in his career, he was part of a squad that found a woman with drugs on her and told her they'd let her off if she showed them her vagina. It went to court, there was a payout, he left the LVMPD, but then he came back and now he's risen all the way up to number two. If her husband is the number two guy in Metro, and she's a bureau commander, and now she's investigating the worst mass shooting in U.S. history, it just seems to me a little concerning. And the interesting thing about Captain Kelly McMahill is she's actually never investigated a homicide, and yet she's being put in charge of the biggest case in Vegas over the last decade, even though she has no experience? Why? Maybe if something needs to be concealed or not brought out, and your wife's controlling that bureau, it just looks a little bit suspicious. This is the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. You know, I want answered why was it taken away from homicide and given it to a unit that only investigates use of force by police officers. The press was completely unaware that the homicide unit had been moved off the case until Doug Papa broke a story on it. The LVMPD wasn't in a hurry for the world to find this out and didn't seem real thrilled with Doug Papa or his story. After the article was published in the Baltimore Examiner, Captain Coverup was quickly transferred off the case, and Doug Papa got an email from LVMPD Detective David Gorris. He wanted to know where Doug got his information, but we'll get to that in the next episode.